Today, we're considering several nominees and one bill. The judicial nominees are on the agenda for the first time, and the minority has requested that they be held over. So the following nominees will be held over. Kyle Duncan, Fifth Circuit, David Strauss, Eighth Circuit, uh, Fernando Rodriguez, South District, Texas, uh, Andrei Yanko, who has been nominated to serve as under Secretary of Commerce and Director of the U.S. Patent and Trade Office is also on today's agenda, and I've been told that we can, that that will not have to be held over. Uh, Mr. Yanku, Yanku has a proven record in the field of intellectual property law. He has an excellent academic and professional background in intellectual property law. He's an extremely knowledgeable about the patent system. He's well respected in the legal community. His intellectual property practice has covered a wide array of subject areas, and he has represented many different kinds of clients. He has demonstrated that he's familiar with the issues that concern the various intellectual property stakeholders. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office plays a very crucial role in fostering innovation and protecting intellectual property uh, because intellectual property, meaning patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade seekers, is so important to our national security. We need the office to have a strong and accountable leader, and I believe that Mr. Yanko uh, will be a responsible leader and manager and that he'll be a responsive to the various different IP stakeholders. I'm pleased that Mr. Yanko has uh, pledged to work with us to improve our intellectual property system, enforce the law, and boost intellectual property rights. I support his nomination and urge my colleagues to as well. We will also have five nominees to be uh, U.S. attorneys. Uh, these are Amy, Vicki, uh, oh, the next one is I was going to refer to the bill that Senator Hatch has put in. Uh, we have S-2152, Amy Vicki and Andy, Child Pornography Victims Assistance Act. Uh, it, this is on the agenda for the first time and will be held over at the request of the other side. This is a bipartisan bill introduced by Senator Hatch and co-sponsored by me, as well as Senators Feinstein, Cornyn, Klobuchar, White House, Tillis, and Blumenthal. The bill is aimed after, is named after Amy, Vicki and Andy victims in which the most widely distributed child pornography, uh, no, the names of these victims in some, uh, is in some of the most widely distributed child pornography in the world. It also creates a better system for compensating victims of child pornography and addresses the concerns raised by the Supreme Court's Pyroline decision of 2014. That decision came in Amy's restitution case. The bill will establish more relevant and useful standards for the victims of child pornography who seek restitution from criminal defendants. It gives victims the alternative of a one-time fixed comprehensive payment from the Crime Victims Fund. The bill also requires appointment of a guardian ad litem for uh, victims and allows them access to the images depicting them, which can be important for victim identification, expert testimony, forensic review, and treatment. I look forward to reporting this bill out of committee at our next executive committee. Now, 